Lila's trying to get a hoodie because she really wants one. Oh, she's, she needs help deciding on what size, but apparently the hoodie itself is £30, but they're doing this promotion for 32 You can get a tote bag and a top as well. There's so many different styles to choose from. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a backpack. They've even got PE kits over there. If you watched the vlog that I made that came out last week, you would have seen that I got a new iPad for doing my work at University App. And I actually wanted to use it, but I wasn't able to because I was waiting for the case and the screen protector to arrive. I bought these from Amazon. I don't remember exactly how much they were, but I really wanted a green case for my iPad. And the reason I decided to get one with a clear back was so that you could see the engraving of my name on the back of the iPad because I got Elvia Kira and some emojis engraved at the back. So I thought it would be nice to have like a clear backing. And then also you can do the magnetic foldy thing with the case. So it's like I can have it in different positions, which I think is really nice. And um, basically everything arrived, but I was just waiting for a day for there to be semi good lighting. So I was always getting home late after uni and then the light was so dark. So I was just kind of waiting for a day where it would be semi good and this was the day. So I finally got the iPad turned on and all set up. It was really cool doing the finger recognition. And I kind of didn't realize how long the setting up process would be. There were loads of different things to do, but I think it was actually really good because it kind of talked you through how to use the iPad, especially someone like me who's never used it before. So that was really handy. And then I kind of just talked to Siri and just kind of got it all working. I didn't actually realise that Siri recognises individual voices because I've got Siri on my MacBook as well but I never actually realised that feature even existed so it was really cool to see that it would only respond to my voice and it wouldn't respond to anyone else's. And then I was learning how to use the Apple Pencil and oh my god I absolutely love it, it's literally the best purchase I've ever made. I tried to get a bit of work done on the train but I didn't really get much done because by the time I kind of logged into the Wi-Fi my stop was nearly there but it was actually really useful to see that these trains had tables so I could actually like relax my laptop on it rather than having to use it on my lap and I love getting on the train in the morning because everyone's just so busy doing their own work it's so amazing to see everyone just like getting on and getting ready for their day. I didn't actually go to archery this week because I had so, so much work to do. I really didn't realise how intense third year would be, especially compared to first and second year. The workload is so crazy, but obviously that's to be expected because we have so much work to do and so much new content and so much harder content as well. So I just find myself spending so much longer doing homeworks and stuff because it just takes so long for me to process what to do. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but what I like to do is handwrite my notes and then use the iPad to do practice questions and tutorials and homeworks and stuff like that, purely because I've actually got a lot of stationery that needs to be used and I, I want to use all my highlighters and pens and things, so I like to handwrite my notes or annotate the professor's notes and then just use the iPad to do questions and stuff. I actually wore contact lenses for the first time to university today and I was so excited. Aren't these contacts so pretty? I really really do like them. They're supposed to be blue but they look kind of grey and I'm absolutely vibing with them and I think they really matched the shirt as well. This is how they looked on the train, you couldn't really see them as much so I do like how they have kind of like a natural effect. And now it's Friday. I feel like I didn't really film a lot throughout the week, but Friday is the day where I can get most of the filming done because Friday is my busiest day. So I kind of got here about 20 minutes early. So I just came over to Arts 2 and just sat down and just got kind of comfy and just kind of waiting around until time to go to class. And I was actually really excited to see this notification on my phone that Molang reacted to something that I tagged them in because I basically 
I'm obsessed with Molang and I have Molang wallpapers on literally every device I own and I just tagged them in a picture and they liked it. And then for lunch we actually went, I think it's called to Rooster's Piri Piri. We went there once in first year and it was so good. I don't know why we didn't go there again but um, we decided to come there today and I got these, I think it was called grilled halloumi and chips with Piri powder or something. Oh my god. If you haven't tried it, please get it. It's so good. Had it with mayonnaise and ketchup. Um, the reason I got this is because on Fridays they don't eat meat. But I had their chicken wings when I was back in first year. And they were absolutely unreal. Like, absolutely incredible. I need to go there sometime soon and go and buy their chicken wings because it's so good. We also used this time to catch up with each other and just fill each other in with what we've kind of been doing this whole week because Friday is the only day where we do have lunch together as a group because our schedules are so different this year so it's so nice to actually hang out for a bit. I would say overall this is my favourite class each week. I think because we do stuff that we're not used to doing, this class is basically like we do questions that we've not been exposed to. I'm not sure how to describe it but it's basically like unseen questions so our professor gives us this worksheet and we work in groups to kind of get the answer and I actually really really enjoy this class. And it's been a long time since I've done my nails. I think Oh, I had a really pretty set on last week and I took them off and let my nails breathe for a week and I decided to actually do them again. To Be Glam very kindly sent this whole kit over. They recently launched about 12 new poly gel colours. I've used their poly gels in a previous video and I am really, really impressed with the quality. And out of all the poly gel brands I've tried, To Be Glam is my favourite because it's actually long lasting and the colours are good and the poly gel just looks so nice and cures well. They also sent over a base and top coat. I absolutely love their base and top coat because it also protects the nails and keeps the colour vibrant. I was super super excited to try out these poly gels because the poly gels I've previously used have either been clear or very pink tones and this new release has loads of different colours. We've got blues, yellows, greens. So I was so excited to see how they would actually look on my nails because I've only used gel polish in those types of colours. So they've got one like pastel set and one glittery set and I'm just swatching both of those now and don't these colours just look amazing. I don't really like to prep my nails very well before I start actually doing a manicure because I typically don't wear them for too long anyway so I didn't file or buff or anything to my natural nails I simply put on the base coat and then from the previous set that I had with To Be Glam I'm using their dual forms these are the best dual forms I have ever used because they actually fit my nails really really well and I haven't experienced that with other brands before so if your nail beds look similar to mine I think you'll really really like these dual forms and I also love them because they're straight and they don't curve down I really don't like when my nails have a curvature to them I like them to be straight along so this just looks so good so since university has started I like to keep my nails relatively short purely because I can't really type on the calculator with long nails I find it really really difficult to push all the buttons and to do it quickly and correctly and also because of archery when you're trying to shoot with long nails it just does not work so I like to keep them at a relatively short length and the most satisfying part of using dual forms is popping them off and you can see it's actually quite nice and thin and I'm now using a nail guillotine to clip the shape down to a good size for me. I recently started using an 8080 grit nail file and OMG it has made doing my nails so so much faster because before I was using a 100 slash 180 grit file and I guess that's good for when you just want to do small amounts of shaping but when you really want to buff and file the nail down to make it look smooth and in unison an 8080 nail grit file is really good. I got this on AliExpress and this is how it looked when all my nails were done. So I used three different colours, three different like pinks and purples and now I'm attaching this pearl heart on to my ring finger. I am obsessed with these pearl hearts. I bought this in a pack on AliExpress. I think it came in like a 100 pack 
and I just love using them so I'm using them again this week. 8080 grit nail files are also really really useful when you want to remove your nails just make sure you don't file your actual natural nail beds with an 8080 grit file because that will be way too harsh. I'm now going in with this white gel polish from the brand Lo Fuana to create clouds on my nails. I absolutely love cloud nail designs, I just think they look so cute and soft. So I'm just trying to wipe away most of the gel from the brush and then I'm just kind of tapping a bit of white polish on before going in with a dotting tool and spreading out the clouds to give a soft gradient type of effect. I also forgot to mention before but on the pearl hearts I filled them with glitter poly gel so that it can look nice and filled and this also keeps the heart pearl staying on your nail because if you don't fill it in with poly gel it will most likely fall off because the heart is so straight and it has no curvature so it kind of just sticks flying out of the nail so if you put some poly gel inside it and then secure it it's more likely to stay. I'm now repeating the same procedure on my right hand but now using green, blue and yellow poly gel colours. These poly gels seem to be more pigmented than the pink and purples but you can definitely see the difference in colour with the blue, yellow and green but I feel like with the purples and the pinks they look quite similar at first glance unless you look at them properly and then you can see the difference. So I did cut them nice and short and file them and I'm doing the exact same steps for the pearl hearts except this time I'm doing it on my middle and my thumb. So I'm filling the yellow heart with yellow glitter poly gel and I'm filling the green heart with green glitter poly gel. If you've made it this far through the video, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!